Adios 2020, Bonjour 2021. Stick around to learn how to manifest your intentions during 2021. 2020 has been an interesting year, one that luckily you'll probably never experience with such intensity again. I'm eagerly anticipating 2021 because I have a strong feeling of what to expect. In fact, I've seen this many times before. I've seen this with the women and heart-centered men that I've worked with. And I've experienced this myself more times than you can imagine. And I've learned to embrace it. And I hope you'll learn to feel the same. It's quite normal that when we experience something that causes a breakdown in either yourself or circumstances, situations, and experiences around you, including living through the pandemic of 2020, that it's actually a good thing. It may not seem or feel like a good thing, especially when you're in the middle of it. But if you can hold on, you will be rewarded with a profound life-changing experience. It's called the breakdown before the breakthrough, or as me and my friends like to call it, the rupture before the rapture. What it means is that things have to break apart. Things have to expand which feels uncomfortable as hell in order for them to come together and create something that results in a more incredible, positively uplifting life. Think back to times when you had a breakup and how horrible and sad you felt. And then after a period of time in which you experienced so much sadness, anger and loneliness you healed and you ended up meeting someone even better or what about when you got fired and you were lost and confused sad and angry and then you got an even better job or you started your own business whatever happened led to more opportunities and an even better life. Or what about when you were a child and you were going through puberty and your bones hurt because they were growing and all these changes were happening and you felt emotionally confused about everything. And you woke up one day and you had turned from an ugly duckling into a beautiful swan. 2021 will metamorphosis into a better time, a time of hope and excitement, of connection and collaboration, and of illumination and better communication if you allow it, if you don't fight it, and if you embrace it. In 2021, you have the opportunity to turn into a more beautiful swan than you already are. You have the opportunity to have a better life and to get what's yours. I know this to be true because I can feel this in my heart, in my mind and body, but most importantly, in my soul. It won't happen overnight because there's always a gestation period. There's a gestation period for pregnancy, for a business to become successful, and even for a relationship to grow and evolve into the vision that both people desire. There was a recent full moon, the last of the year, and it was a perfect time, a sacred time to reflect on the past 
in order to move forward. It's not too late to take some quiet time to be alone and journal, reflecting on where you were, gaining clarity on where you are, and manifesting where you'd like to be in 2021. Ask yourself and journal on the following. What went well over the last year? What can I celebrate? What did I hope to do or create that didn't come to fruition? What held me back and continues to get in my way? What do I need to release? What and who do I need to forgive to move forward? What did I learn? What is my intuition guiding me to acknowledge and take action on now? What does really good self-care look like and am I willing to practice it? What changes do I most want to make to my mindset and my life to achieve the reality that I desire? What goal or dream do I most want to bring to fruition now and over the next year? Think about your vision for the year ahead. If 2021 goes as well as it could, what will have happened for you? What will have happened for you to feel that way? Consider the obstacles you face and ask yourself how you can work with them or overcome them in the months ahead. And then the fun begins. You get to start creating an intention for you for this new year. I encourage you to enjoy releasing the year. Have a wonderful time making room for your intentions. And as promised, here are three ways to manifest your intentions of a happy, healthy, loving relationship. First, sage your home, clearing out negative energy and chant positive visions of the man or the relationship you envision. Clean out the nightstand next to your bed, inviting the vision, the man, the relationship in. Hang up pictures of couples, and if you desire a happy family, add photos of loving families you know or desire to be. I'd love to know how you feel now, how you feel about 2020, and whether or not you're looking forward to 2021. Respond in the comments and let me know where you are and where you're looking to go. If you're interested in attracting the right one, dating with hope, excitement, clarity and confidence, and manifesting the relationship you've always wanted, I invite you to book a get acquainted call with me and together we'll discover your next steps. Go to daretodatedifferently.com and book a call today. The new year is upon us. Vaccines are here and it's cuffing season. So what are you waiting for? Don't let life pass you by. If it's 2022 and you're in the exact same place as you are now, will you be happy? Let's talk. Here's wishing you the most magnificent ending of 2020 and the ability to fully lovingly embrace 2021 and all your intentions. I'm Elizabeth Trich with Dare to Date Differently. Be intentional this year and I look forward to talking to you soon.